Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to my channel Justice Gaming. I am your host Brent Justice and we are in Deus Ex Human Revolution. And uh, we now have some things to do here. We've got a side quest to find Quinn. And did we see what's on this computer? Oh yes, cameras which I've killed. I have caused a lot of mayhem coming in here. I get that, I understand it. And there's probably going to be a lot more. I'm going to try to take down the enemy quietly and so forth, but you know me, it's probably going to end up being uh, pretty crazy. And we know there's a turret over here, but I want to see if I can sneak in here, see if there's anything. This is sniper rifle. I do not need a mine template. Now, we have that vent, but we've been through there to avoid the turret. That just leads back up there. Where do I need to go? It looks like I need to go that way. So maybe I need to go up here. I'm safe from the turret. It's not going to get me up here. So we do need to go through this door. And we're in. Ammo is, or ammunition is my biggest uh, problem right now, obviously. I am lacking in the ammunition department. I need lots of things. Lots of things I don't have. But, we can explore the bathroom. And there's a vent in here. We have to see where this goes. Maybe to a back office room somewhere. Actually going the opposite direction I thought it would. So Traveler, and we are behind some stairs, or Explorer I should say, and we are behind some stairs where we can get a data pad. Typhoon, I'm not going to use the Typhoon, not in this playthrough. So that just led to some stuff there I could get. So let's see what the data pad says. Gentlemen, a quick reminder to code for the access to the administration quarters through loading bay one has been changed to 7736 as per operations protocol. Please update and inform your appropriate subordinates. I wonder if we now have the code to get in that one door that I could not get through at the beginning. Remember that door? I wonder if I have the code now to get in that. I kind of want to go back and try if I can get in that room. But of course we have to check out the bathrooms first. There's nothing here. Let's go ahead and disable this alarm since we're here. This will make things a little easier if I set off an alarm somewhere. Although that is going really fast on me. I barely made that. Barely made that. Okay, that's actually where I need to go. That's going to take me to Quinn. But what I really do want to know... I'm going to chase back and go to the very beginning and see if I can go through that door that I was not able to get to before. I'm also looking to see if I do have any Praxesses, which I do. I'm going to, I want to go ahead and get the falling thing. Where I can fall to no damage. I don't know where it's at. It's Parachute, Icarus Landing. Oh, I need two to unlock it. So never mind. I won't do that right now. Yeah, I'm going to head... I know there's a turret right here. Uh, I'm going to head all the way back to that administration door. I just don't remember where it's at. 
it's this. This way, isn't it? Yes, this way. There shouldn't be any enemies because I've cleared out like everything. So this is back at the beginning loading bay. Yeah, this is where I came in. And here's the door. Do I now have access to this? No, I still do not have access. Okay. No codes and it's a level 5 security. Do I... Can I get to a level 5? I can get to four, but I cannot get to five. Darn. So close, yet so far away from getting access into that room. That's too bad. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait. Okay, we know this turret's gonna get me. I need to go back up there. I can go around the turret, right? Yes, I can go right around it through here, not get shot. Okay, let's go down here, and I know this is going to take me to where we meet Quinn. There's all this area in here, but don't worry, we are going to come back and explore all that. But I know that this is going to take me to Quinn first. Practical Shootist Monthly. Are you Quinn? Well, if it ain't the bloody Grim Reaper himself. What are you talking about? Christ almighty, lad. You got half the garrison shedding themselves and afraid you got on patrol. Look, I don't want no trouble. You hear? The commander said to help you. That's what I'll do. Just, just don't kill me, all right? I got children. Eat them. Well, I, look, I, I don't really have yet, but... Uh, all right, all right, I, I don't really have any. Just, just don't fucking shoot me. So, <laughs> remember before, in the last video, how she said I was on a murderous rampage and the game recognizes I've been killing a lot of people? Same thing with his dialogue. It recognizes I have been killing a lot of people and so he's very aggressive toward me right now. However, if I had not done that, if I had just taken out everybody without killing them, he would have different dialogue and the game would recognize that. So that's what I love about this game. So if you play it on your own, you may have a different result than me. And that's awesome. That's what I love about this game. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Well, whether that's true or not, I'll take some comfort knowing there's three inches of bulletproof glass between us. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah, she told me to be expecting you. But that was ages ago. What are you trying to pull here? We're risking our lives diverting attention away from you and covering your tracks. There's limits to how much we can sweep under the rug before the dogs start digging. It's a good thing she can find your clearance to this section of the base. I'd hate to see where you'd end up otherwise. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? 
Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. So there you go. I get a discount. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an iron that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. Interested? I am absolutely interested in about the special offer, yes. All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier. If you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. Um, yeah, while... While I find your enthusiasm for explosives disturbing, something like this could come in handy. Sure. While I find your enthusiasm for explosives slightly disturbing, something like this could come in handy. Like I always say, speaking softly for the birds when you got the biggest stick on the block. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, a little sparrow in my employ managed to lose one through maintenance circulation. But he got himself shit can before I could collect. Now my little buttes lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, no idea really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd see. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel. Those three Clear things. Business. I can scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I think I already found one. Hey, let me see what you got there. That's the 329's trigger module. Let me know when you find the other two. Okay, cool. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. That is definitely a side quest I'm going to do. Let me first see if there's anything I can sell. I might not use the grenade launcher, but I'm, you know, having it is kind of like a, you know what, I've got the heavy already. Oh, I don't know. Having it is kind of like insurance in case I really need something, you know, need to really take down something big. Oh, I'll keep it for now. Jeez. Cyber boost, painkillers, beer will sell. Um, we'll keep the concussion and the gra gas and the frag and the EMPs. Tranquilizer dart, stun gun, uh, sniper rifle. I don't use the sniper rifle or the shotgun. Well, I do have the shotgun, don't I? And I can go ahead and sell the shotgun then. I'm not going to use the shotgun. Alright, now let's buy some stuff. I have been needing a lot of ammunition, ammo. I am also in need of Praxis. Pretty bad. I could use another one. I think I just got one, but I could use more. That would use up a lot of my money. Might just be better off buying a bunch of <clears throat> ammo. Combat rifle's pretty cheap. That's not bad. Stun gun darts cheap. And then pistol. Yeah. There we go. Now I can have all the ammo I need. And now maybe I'll get that extra Praxis kit. And I've still got some money. I really... I would rather have... Let me see. I'd rather have some hypo stims. I'm okay really on the cyber energy. I'll buy one pack. Haven't really been using that a lot in this level. Maybe I'll save it. And what would the laser targeting be used for? Mm. I could use that. I got the I got the cash. All right. We'll do that for right now. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless of course you fuck it up yourself. Now there's obviously stuff back there that I will get later on, but that's going to have to wait because you have to take him out to get that stuff. 
and I don't want to do that right now. Or he leaves and you get to come back and get all that or something like that. I don't know. But we'll wait for that stuff. All right, let's take this laser targeting system. Oh, see, I can't combine it with anything. I thought I might... Yeah, I look, I've got laser on everything. So I really cannot combine it with anything. Well, if it ain't my favorite and currently only customer. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. I'm just going to sell it back to him. I mean, I've got no other choice. I'm not going to be able to use it for anything else. Um, so that's good. No refunds. So yeah, the good thing here was I saved that person in the pod. That gave me a discount with him. But his dialogue was very aggressive with me, which indicates that, uh, you know what? I don't have uh, grenades for this. Right. So, what's the story? Buy does, something or bugger off. Does he have uh, what I need for this? Doesn't use rockets, does it? Wouldn't think so. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. Nope, so no ammo. I'm um, no ammo on this. Okay, I do have some combat rifle ammo finally. But not a lot. I got some pistol ammo, but again, not a lot. I have just a few trank darts. And just a few stun gun. I still don't have all the ammo I want. And that leads... I know that leads back to his area, but I don't want to go steal his stuff right now because, yeah, he's 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 good for me right now. I want to use his shop. But we now have another. We got two practices actually. I'm gonna open up my level five, and the reason why I'm also going to open up. Uh, hacking stealth and the reason why is I want to go now hack that door that I couldn't get in before but now I can so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm actually going to go back to the very beginning and open that up. <coughs> and now remember, we are also looking for this side quest mission of uh, finding finding these parts. We need to find a scope assembly, launcher barrel, and I've already got the trigger module. So I just need to find a couple more things. And I'll have that for him. But now I can hack this. Get into the administration section here. Boy, that is slow. Good grief, that is a uh, slow one. Access granted. Now, that was a hard unlock right there. But it was in the administration section, so that makes sense. Oh, and there's Guy right there. Two guys, actually. Can't believe he didn't see me. Bust 
cameras are going to be a problem. Let's take them out. There's a lot of them. I'm trying not to kill them. I'm trying very hard. Okay, I didn't kill him, but I used up all my trank darts, or my um, stun gun darts. So alarms are going crazy, but let's reset that. I didn't kill anyone, so, so far that worked pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's go in each of these rooms and check them out. Oh, this has changed. Australian conflict set to escalate. The civil war that has raged for over two years in the Republic of Australia may be on the verge of escalating once again. On Saturday, South Australian Federation troops led by Bell Tower military contractors clashed with free states of Australia rebels outside Alice Springs. One Bell Tower soldier was killed and five others wounded in what the SAF called a draw. Obviously, every death in Australia hurts. Department of Defense spokesman Donna Fidel, but progress is being made. Bell Tower associates continue to live up to its reputation, and in time, this rebellion will be put down. Privatization versus nationalization of oil deposits in the Australian territory of Antarctica are at the center of the divide. Biochip recall causes more than headaches. Peaceful queues have begun erupting into violent riots at limb clinics worldwide. Worry over possible lasting effects of the biochip malfunction combined with rumors of preferential treatment being extended to VIPs. Law enforcement and military personnel have sparked the mass revolts. So a biochip recall, huh? Okay, let's open this up. So yeah, I'm glad I did get all the hacking ability so that I can get into, and I think a lot of this level is like hacking into stuff. So I think that putting the practices into those was beneficial. Access granted. I can get into a lot of areas here now. All right, you did good with the straight sub. Here's something a little tougher. Good luck with this one. We'll make a code breaker out of you yet. So some kind of code to break. Regarding request for official investigation, formally denied. The Provost Marshal's office understanding the chain of command and the necessity of such hierarchy, especially at an active site such as Rifleman Bank Station. However, be advised that it has been made clear in previous correspondences with Lieutenant Keitner that we will conduct no further investigations into alleged anomalous procedures at Rifleman Bank Station. Should the commander continue to request official sanctions through your office, you are to remind her of this fact. Following this, you will file a report to us. If the sanctions in question refer to the RBS detention camp, uh, your report should also be forwarded to Commander Burke. Under no circumstances will you pressure an independent investigation or attempt to gain access to the detention camp without express authorization from Commander Burke. These orders come from the highest levels. To all, this short message to remind you all that Rifleman Bank Station holds regular non-denominational services. I think we read this already. So this place is like... really buttoned up. And like nobody can come here and investigate or do anything. It's like super secret stuff going on here. Super secret stuff. And Bell, Bell Tower is all over it. Yeah, there's a lot of hacking in this level, so in this area, so 
I think uh, the next thing I get will be another hacking stealth so I can hack easier. Not get detected. Access granted. Definitely will check out. I don't need machine ammo, but machine pistol ammo, but I can sell it to Quinn. So that's fine. The bell tower way. I'm not going to read all that. I guess if you guys want to read it, there's page one. You can pause and read that. Page two. I'll do this more often. So you can read these if you want yourself. But I'm not going to read them all. I have read them in the past. Like I said, I've played this game before. So uh, This is Keitner's computer here. We're breaking into her own computer. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a bad thing. But I'm doing it anyway. Access granted. Okay, Hank. Okay, this conversation is automatically saved. Am I reading this right? You want me to reassign Warrior, Foxhound, India Hunter, Takedown, and Lima companies off their regular patrols and into temporary standby? That's correct. If you don't mind me asking why, Mr. Blake, I do mind. You have your orders. Please follow them. This wouldn't happen to have anything to do with the prisoner on the boat, would it? No, and even if it did, his presence should no longer concern you. You'll do as instructed or I'll find someone else. Yes, sir. One more thing. The next time Burke asks you to do something, I want you to inform me of it before you do anything. Got it? So this is basically her helping us. Sir, I've observed some of Burke's men unloading and moving pods directly through loading bay 3 into the detention camp. I spoke to Higgins, who was on transfer duty, and he told me when he asked for clearance papers. They basically told him uh, to go do that to himself and mind his own business. Here's the kicker. We did a database search on the pod ID numbers that went through, and nothing turned up. Someone wiped them clean. Higgins says they were all females. So those Jane Doe's just became Jane Gonzo's. What do you want us to do? So they're shipping people through this detention center here and something nefarious is going on your concerns have been noted and they will be brought forth at the next board of directors meeting for the time being i must remind you that unlike most private militaries who follow chain of command here at bell tower this is why we have rank and hierarchical policies the decorum of professional discipline and integrity is what legitimizes bell tower in the eyes of our clients and it's not just for show. While we recognize and appreciate your willingness to uphold the ideas of Bell Tower, your inquiries into the affairs of a superior are quite unbecoming. And I stress the importance of protocol. So she's been asking about him. Some person called Hyde. For the time being, he's refrained from further investigation into matters outside your jurisdiction. Mr. Burke and Special Operations as a whole fall under classified intelligence. And as such, remain off limits to anyone without appropriate clearance. Wow, and that's the director of personnel, Bell Tower Associates. So she is trying to find out more information about Burke, but being shut down. And this is from Burke himself. Lieutenant Commander Keitner, are you familiar with the term irregular warfare? You must be, based on your background, but in case you've forgotten, allow me to paraphrase. Irregular warfare is a violent struggle among state and non-state actors for legitimacy and influence over the relevant populations. It favors indirect and asymmetric approaches, though it may employ the full range of military and other capacities in order to erode an adversary's power, influence, and will. Now, according to your profile, you yourself spent more than a decade fighting insurgents and Palestinian forces with the IDF before you were summarily dismissed for how should we call it less than patriotic opinion. So how is it that someone who fought and bled for a country embroiled in a century-old conflict can still fail to appreciate the necessary precautions required to safeguard innocent lives from non-state actors, a.k.a. terrorists? These people sold their rights the moment they took up arms and continued to hide behind their civilian clothing. Rather than don the responsibility and legitimacy of a uniform, they chose ambiguity and deception. This is the consequence. Now please refrain from harassing myself or my men any further. We've already spoken in person, so consider this your second and formal written warning. You have your responsibility. So she's already, she's been warned verbally and written now. And she's basically being threatened here. She needs to watch your back. Nice pictures though. I wonder, I guess she's got kids, maybe? I hope she lives. Oh, and look what I found. I am definitely going to use that. 
Let's see, a damage upgrade. We'll combine it with that. My pistol is becoming more and more powerful. Powerful than anyone could ever imagine. Have to see where this goes. Probably to another room or something. Actually, it goes downstairs. There's a room there we haven't checked out yet. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Could have just come right in, probably. Or hacked, hacked my way in, but now I'm in it this way. There's a Coalition for Liberty. You guys can pause and read that if you're interested. I'll take this because I can sell it. Okay, what computer? Oh, this is Burke's computer itself. Himself. And I know we're going to encounter him later, but let's hack into his computer, shall we? I need to get all the way to here. I don't know why I did that. I needed to go that way. Maybe I can get these little things. Access granted. Yeah, I can get a lot from that. Okay, let's see what secrets Burke is hiding. Begin auto. I request that you raise has been resolved. Resolved, new safe, hardware, wall safe, complete. Oh, there's a wall safe. The details of the resolution are below. We finished installation of your new safe in the previously specified location, including the appropriate cover. Please let us know if there's any problems. So there's a wall safe I need to look for. Peter, I know my brother already spoke to you personally, but congratulations on your recent promotion and the board was more than happy to recognize your recent accomplishments, especially considering how successful the Hydra program has proven in Australia. You've certainly explained or exemplified the kind of uncompromising lateral thinking approach to progress that Bell, Bell Tower prides itself upon. In light of that, stay the course, my friend. I know you're under a lot of pressure, but just remember what the OCM project represents for us. For our partners for the world, remember as well, your efforts will always be properly rewarded. James, something you might find interesting came across my desk this morning. A report from one of the technicians working on Hydra's nerve extension. Apparently your men, or more specifically the volunteers, have coined a new term to describe the post-release blackouts they're experiencing, mind crash. To quote test subject 2829, when you're plugged in, everything is cold. Your skin feels tight, your muscles are stiff, and your bones feel like glass. But you're not really aware of this, right? Because the machine's telling you otherwise. It's telling you that you're somewhere else, experiencing something else. But your body knows. It knows something isn't right, and it remembers. Like the real you is still awake, even though you're dreaming. When they turn it off and you start disconnecting, it's like the fake you and the real you crash together. One minute you're warm, alive, and all of a sudden it's like you fell through ice and you're dying. It sucks the air right out of you like a bomb going off in your head. Your brain locks up and boom, a flash, then nothing. Just the darkness. You know those blue screens of deaths on a computer? Yeah, it's like that, except it's your mind that's crashing. Spooky stuff. I ain't going back into that thing. I think these mind crashes deserve more looking into. If we can diminish the likelihood of them occurring or eliminate the possibility altogether, it would be a long way towards retaining volunteers. As it stands, the cost of outfitting non-OCM candidates with Hydra Tech in order to simplify test site the integration of nerve simulators with your Spec Ops training reg regimen is proving quite prohibitive. S so... Some kind of integration with a computer system, an AI or something. Not quite sure... Orion instant messaging autosave. Burke, I need a favor. The mighty tyrants need something. Say it ain't so. This is serious. My team has had some setbacks. Setbacks? Casualties. This wouldn't have anything to do with those five scientists, would it? It's classified. But let's just say one of them has an attachment problem. And that problem has a hero complex. Oh, that'd be me. What, like an ex-boyfriend? Something like that. You've got to be kidding. I never kid. So, what do you want? Dossiers on some of your best men. The wrench might be vulnerable, but I need some reinforcements. I'll have Nicole forward you something. Expect it when the interlude sails. Thanks. Yep, yeah, I'm the attachment problem. So there's must be a hidden set wall safe in here somewhere. Maybe one of these pictures. Nothing's opening.
Aha, a hidden button. There it is. There's the safe. Okay, I definitely want this. It's Burke's revolver. So what are we going to drop to get that? I did buy rockets. I don't know why I bought rockets. I'm not going to use the rocket launcher probably. But I bought them. Let's see. I guess shotgun cartridges we'll get rid of. Don't need the revolver ammo, so I now have Burke's revolver. I don't think he's going to like that. 